And so if you're a host, you might have to agree that says you got it. Um, and then we're going to stream live on Facebook. And if you're a host, you might have to agree to. So we're counting down the seconds. <laughs> as nervous as I am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you hear my papers rustling when I rustle papers? So far, not. オッケー、グッド。ロドニさん、一応ロドニさん、一応ね。はい。いや、あの、なんとなくあの、一応僕もずっとここのね、台本のままいくと思うんだけど、な、なんか僕僕めっちゃこれも見ながらいくから大丈
Oh, anyone that I online going anywhere in the world, the first round of judging. Oh, wait, wait, who's public down to get it gratified money? It's the international G and I was talking for join us for the best of the place. Wait to get it to say to get art for the world of the world. Aperture or church, age keep my own mind. You're on mute, yeah. Rochelle. Oh my gosh. The winner gets all of 300,000 yen. Oh my. Well, DJ Toby, could you give our Japanese viewers an outline of what we've said so far? Sure. Hi, everyone. Toho no Entame character, DJ Toby des. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kyo. 今日は今日はインターナショナルビエンバーで2024の紹介ライブをご覧いただきましてありがとうございますスポンサー企業でもあるアメリカのボビービーズロセルスターマンのベキドイツのトゥインクルビーズのミハさんとサウリさんそして東
Bobby Bead is one of the sponsors of the event, and we really love providing all types of Toho beads and products to artisans all over the world. And we love how beading as a common language has been able to connect us together across the miles and traditions to find common ground in our love for each other, as well as the beaded art in all many forms. Our corporate sponsors that are with us today, we have Twinkle Beads. What motivated you to get involved as a sponsor? Um, oh yes, because we share Toho's ideas of pro providing a place for competition that beat artists from all over the world would right. uh, could aspire to. And, aspire. Uh, and just as paint is used by children and artists alike, we believe these are just um, yeah, one means of expression. And this time we decided to uh, support the beat artist and yeah, who, those who create artistic artwork, artistic beatwork. Yeah, and as you just said, Rochelle, I also like very much the idea of bringing the beating community together. Um, the, of course, all beaters know there are other beaters in other countries who share the same hobby, but who are they and what are their ideas? Often you don't know. So to bring these to light and uh, let others learn or learn from others, that idea I like very much. Of course, it's a little bit like the total challenge, but uh, we have some customers who sometimes skip the challenge and say, well, this year it's not my colors, but with this Beats Biennale, it is just very free. You can choose your colors and do whatever you like. So this idea I like uh, very much. And um, yeah, really looking forward to see all the results, whatever he, do what he does with his own choice, uh, the art that will be produced. Thank you, Misha and Sorry, especially for staying up so late to join us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Starman is also a sponsor there, and they're offering a special award as well. And do you get to pick a piece? Tell us about this, Becky. Yes, our team at Starman will pick a piece to be distinguished with the Starman Award. So that's very exciting. Um, Starman is a huge distributor of Toho beads in the U.S. So it's super exciting to see the Toho beads being used in such creative ways for this um, festival, we, we got to go to the Tucson Gem Show earlier this year, and we handed out some flyers for the Biennale, and people were super excited about it even then, and I'm just so excited to see uh, what people make and see the community come together. It's going to be really exciting. Thank you, Becky. Now back to Stuart for translation. Thanks very much, Rochelle. あの、こと経由してあの、ビーズの楽しみをあの、皆さんとあの、共有したいという観点からあの、このスポンサーになったということです。あの、ドイツのあの、ツインクビーズの方からあの、大体同じような考えであの、スポンサーとしてその共有あの、協
あのごめんなさい世界中のビーズアーティストが憧れるコンテストの場を提供するという東方の考えに共感しましたそうですあの絵の具があの子供もやあ子供もやアーティストに使われているようにあのビーズも一つの表現手段でありあの今回は特に芸術的な作品を作る人たちを応援するためにこのプロジェクトに協賛しましたそうです。で、さらにあの国際的なビーズコミュニティをまとめるというアイディアが好きです。あの他の国にもビーズ作家がいることが、まあ、誰もしていますがあの、彼らはどんな人なのか、どんな素晴らしいアイディアを生み出しているのか、あのそれがわ、まあ、からないのであの、それが私たちのインスピレーションになるのでしょうかという考えです。ビエナーレはそれを,あそそれ、ね、そそれを生み出すあの手段になっています。自分のアイディアを自由に表現ができ、あの好きな色を使ったり、あのテーマを決めたりすることができますので、だからあの今年、まあ、来年はどんな結果が出るのか、すごく楽しみにしておるということです。そして、あのスターマンのベキさんの方から、まあ、スターマンがすごくなんか大きなディスティビューターなので、あの同じように東方ビーズを多くのお客様は人々に共有して、供給して、そのビーズはどんな,どんな風に、どういうように使われているのかすごく楽しみです。ビーズの使い方、クリエイティビティが生み出されることを本当にスターマンにとってすごくいいことなので、ベキさんの方からこの間、ツーソン、アリゾナでの展示会で東方ビーズをあの共有して、東方ビーズのサンプルとかを,を出していたのであの、そのビーズとかはどういうふうに使われているのか、特にこのビーズビアナーでどういうふうに使われているのか、あのすごく楽しみです。というあの話でした。Thank you so much, Rochelle. So now we're going to introduce the past awards and the awards ceremony. 次はあの過去の作品やあの授与式の様子を紹介いたします。ロシアさんの方から。Over to you, Russia. You're muted. You're muted, Russia. I'm so sorry. I was trying to be good. Let's take a look now at the pieces from the past contest and check out those. And there we go. In 2013, we have a grand prize winner, Naomi Sukumo. Her entry is called The Cosmos. And she says, We are a tiny speck in the boundless universe where the sun creates the eternal seasons and the moonlight pours down far and wide on plants and animals of the savannah. On buildings and people of the metropolis and on us all. Her beautiful piece that is so amazing, Naomi Sakuma. And then in 2015, the grand prize winner, Rumi Yanayisawa La Primavera. The motif of this wreath like necklace is based on Botticelli's painting, Primavera, the gentle and delicate image of beauty and love brought about by spring was expressed using subdued colors and the golden blonde of the women Botticelli portrays. Next, we have 2017 grand prize winner, Anna Perlman. Treasure Guardian. Stay tuned for her live interview to listen to her comments right after this. We are so excited to have her with us tonight. In 2020, the grand prize winner was Iskra Stokowska. 
Gratitude for the beauty of our planet, mandala number one, spring garden. This mandala is part of a series of meditations on gratitude for beauty. I'm fascinated by beauty that surrounds us, and I'm fascinated by the beauty of beads. This mandala was inspired by the beauty of English gardens in spring. I spent the spring of 2019 in English countryside and was stunned by the beauty of English gardens. This is a meditation on the experience of colors, fragrances, brimming life and magic, of course, with inevitable drops of rain. Just a beautiful mandala. There were so many excellent pieces. And now we have a wonderful interview with Anna Perlman. She is her 2017 piece that you won for, spectacularly captured the grand prize. Thank you for joining us tonight, Anna. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Anna? Yes, yeah, sure. So I am originally from Baltic country and now I live in California. And since I can remember, I have a deep appreciation for the arts particularly for medieval architecture and painting. And however, it wasn't until 2008 that I discovered my passion to see beads not a long time ago. After stumbling upon a website showcasing work of various masters, very good masters, I decided to give a try and create a few pieces that looking back, I now consider very amateurs. <laughs> As I explored the art form, I found that I enjoyed taking an engineering approach, inventing new technique for building chorus and connecting beats units together to create indicated pieces. Another significant tuning point for me was when I became enamored with antique beats. I counted antique stores for 18th century purses and other items encrusted with beautiful seed beads that I stripped down a lot to do, cleaned and began using my design. And the problem was a very thin needles, needles size 16, nobody do them, made them, it's impossible to find them. And I did find a lot in some Indian tribes. I bought probably 400 pieces. And while beat jewelry is my hobby, I took a break for two year, last years and did work on any new designs. However, I consider returning to some to it sometimes this year to implement a few innovative ideas that I think could be exciting, at least from my point of view. And I don't know how I will do this, but I will try. <laughs> Looking forward to that new work. Can you tell us more about your winning piece, Treasure Guardian? Yes, my inspiration for Treasure Guardian came from conversation with my friends about character from classic literature who embodied greed. I envisioned a giant octopus perch on a chest of gold that transformed it into Natalie's shell. However, I didn't realize it through how technically challenging the product would be. Natalie's shells are fragile, very fragile. I spoiled probably three or four, and the composition itself is quite heavy. I had to devise a structure that could bear the weight of the octopus, leaving the shell entirely free of any load. I used a small heavy candlestick as the foundation for the composition. And after preparing the shell and the base, I created a complete plasticine model. This provided to be an excellent idea as it allowed me to determine where and how to place the elements. 
two fish sit. They are my favorite on the base. And I searched for a long time for the perfect fish models until I stumbled upon a pair of candlestick with fish in antique store, which I purchased. To mount the shell and octopus on the base, I create a core of study wire and a plaster that replicate the bottom of the shell shape. The octopus barely touch the shell, which fixed to the base as a separate element. They do not touch each other. With the expectation, with ex <sighs> expectation, sorry, I. Only decoration made with some design and I use a mosaic stitch to create the entire piece with very small beads ranging from size 22 to 15, including antique beads, but most Toha 15s. I was thrilled when the Toha jury gave my work high marks in the Beads Biennale competition which is one of the best competition in the industry, really, because it allows artists to implement their ideas in the most creative way possible without restriction on the use of bits and stones. Oh my God. So what is your best- what everybody thinks. What is your best uh, memory about participating in the event? Everything. <laughs> I'm thankful for the chance to participate in the Beat Binali competition, which I believe is one of the industry's best. The competition lack of limitation on the use of beats and stones allow artists to express their creativity in unique ways. Going to the award ceremony in Hiroshima, it's a very beautiful city. <laughs> was an unforgettable experience. And I was impressed by the organizer dedication to showcasing all the incredible works in the best possible manner. I, 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 I don't know. Have you seen how they do this? This is absolutely amazing. <sighs> Overall, I have nothing but the utmost admiration for the Beats Benali competition and its organizers. In addition to, to the exceptional effort of the organizers, I must also note that the exhibition hall was beautiful and provided an excellent environment for display the artwork. It was so beautiful. It, the lights was exceptional, which allowed each piece to shine and capture the attention of the viewers. You don't have a picture from this yet. Yeah, I do. I'm about to show it. No, oh, it was very, very, very impressive. There and it is. I'm grateful, very grateful for the opportunity to have been a part of this. It is really amazing. Absolutely. It looks really beautiful. Yeah, it's I didn't expect this, you know. It's it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna Perlman. We are so very excited. My screen is stuck. And now to Stuart for translation. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. And thank you very much, Anna. I あの Anna Perlman さんの interview でお話ししたらいた内容をまとめてお伝えさせていただきます。あのまず自己紹介についてですがあのペレンマンさんはエストニア出身で今はアメリカのカリフォルニア州に住んでいます作品作りの上であの技術的なアプローチをしていく,していくことに喜びを感じられるそうですでそのそのためにあの新しいテクニックも開発されていますペレンマンさんのターニングポイントというのと,となったのは、あの、ヴィンテージビーツとの出会いでした。あの、美しいビーツが散らばれ、散りばれ、ま、散りばまれている、すみません。あの、18から19世紀のお財布やいろんなアイテムをアンティークショップで見つけて、あの、大会して自分のデザインに使うようになりました。とても面白い
楽器的なあのアイディアを表現するためにあの今年は新作を取り組まれるそうです。次にグランプリ作品「Treasure Guardian」についてですが作品のインスピレーションはあの語欲語欲さとあ不言化した古典文学のキャラクターから来てます。オムガイの金の胸の上に乗る巨大なタコを表現しました。オムガイは脆い上に重いので、上に乗るあのタコの重さに耐えられる構図を思案するのにあの苦労しましたと言われました。土台は、土台には2匹の魚がいますが、こちらはアン,ティクアンティークショップで見つけた小さくて重いキャンドルスティックを使用しています。オムガイとタコのベースを作るために具の形を複製するワイヤーと石膏の芯を作りました。デコレーションとしてはあの例外的にとても小さなビーズを使って全体をモザイクスティッチで仕上げましたとても小さなサイズというのは昔のヴィンテージビーズのことで22から1520などです。業界で最高のコンテストビエナーレの審査員が私の作品にグランプリを与えてくださり大変驚き嬉しかったそうです。最後の質問としてビーズビエナーレに参加してよかったことはという質問ですが、スカウビーズやストーンの種類,に種類に制限がないので、私たちアーティストにとっては自分のクリエイティビティを最大限に発揮した作品を作ることができます。広島での授業式にも参加しましたが、本当に思い思い出深い,の深い経験になりました。取材者側が全ての作品がきれいに見えるようにライティングを調整して努力にも感銘を受けました。ビーズビエナーレとその取材者の東宝に最大限の賞賛を送りたいと思います。とのことでした。Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your comments, Ms. Karam. And thank you to Rasha. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you will all be encouraged to create a design with Toho beads that shows、um, about the theme for the Toho Beads Biennale 2024. The theme is Beauty, Love, and Peace. And so we encourage you all to show and create and bring your visions to life of what you dream beauty, love, and peace in this world could look like. And、um, Becky, do you have any last comments from Starman? Yes, just、um, we'd like to encourage as many entries as possible.、Um, an entrant can send in more than one piece. I know a lot of times when you see all those beautiful beads. You want to make all the jewelry. So we definitely encourage that for this、um, contest. And Misha and Sori, how about some words from Twinkle Beads?、Uh, yes,、um, perhaps some people might even decide to go to Japan <laughs> just to see the, all the art for the Biennale. Just like Anna told us today that it was so fantastic. And maybe some of us may just go and see the others, others' work, and that would be really fantastic. Then I would love to go as well. Yeah, and just as,、uh, as a reminder, there are two categories that is wearable、um, art or the artwork category. And、um, the deadline for entries is. April 3rd, 2024. That's still a long time, but we all know time is flying. So you can get started right away and to develop your ideas. And we really look forward to see 
all the different pieces of art that are coming up. Back to you, Rochelle. And finally, let's hear from DJ Toby. Oh. あの、僕はやっぱり英語もう5年ぐらい使ってないんで、あの、英訳お願いしながらお願いします。そこからちょっと英訳してもらってもいいですか。Well, you know, I haven't used English for about 5 years, so just let me, I'm going to give my comments in English and I'll and Stuart, I will just translate them for you, okay? え、皆さん、あの、聞いていただいている皆さんも、ま、あの、7日にもビエンナーレに、え、出品しようと思っている方も、え、たくさんいらっしゃると思います。I think that there are many persons who are interested and who are taken in and looking forward to the Biennale. え、今日、アンナさんの、え、お話されている顔を見ていて、やっぱりこう作った時の話とかをしている時の笑顔がとても大好きです。And I really loved the way that um Miss Perelman Anna Perelman spoke about the the process of making her piece and the experience of entering the Biennale. It was with it was so lovely. で、僕はクリエイターさん一人一人にその作ったストーリー。であると思っていて、ま、日本では僕ビーズラジオってのやってるんですけど、そのストーリーが本当にいつも作るまでのストーリー、そういう話してる時の笑顔を見る時が、トビーにとってもね、一番幸せな時間なんですね。And for me, DJ Toby, the best thing um about these types of concerts and is listening to the stories that are behind the pieces. How the artists came up with their ideas, their inspiration, and what brought them to make this piece. That's really the best part of it for me. Even when I do my own radio shows here in Japan, DJ Toby Radio, um, I, I listen to that and it's always the most impressive thing for me. The できてきたものが形としてえ、針でね、作っていったり組み立てていって出来上がるものの中にあのそういう作ったイメージやこう背景みたいなものがある。これがね、やっぱりアートの and I believe that the the really good part, the nice part about art is that there is always a story within the piece, within the piece that was made stitch by stitch or weaving what whatever technique was used. There's always a story in there, and that's the really interesting thing about uh, Bead's work. このネックレスをつけてもらいたいなと思って作るときも必ず何か後ろにストーリーがある。それが僕はビーズじゃないかなと思っています。And it's all it is just like beads work or bees art to have an idea of who you would like to have to be wearing this piece. For example, if it's a piece of jewelry, that the, the maker thinks, oh, I would like the person to be wearing this to be like this way or to wear this piece in that way. There's always something behind that piece. で、今回から本当にこう皆さんと一緒にこのビーズビエンナーレを世界のコンテストに心から我々していけることが幸せでしょうがありません。and I think that it's only going to be, you know, an exciting and a happy journey for us all to share this Beats Biennale and this experience with persons, with artists and bead lovers from around the world. Beats Biennale is a grand prix of the Grand Prix, but it's a great thing to be able to share with the story of the Beats and I think that it would be great if we could, um, through the process of the Beats Biennale, be able to share the stories of each and every one of the artists who artists who enter. Of course, you know, we are always, you're heading towards the grand prize, but there is always, there are stories, many stories along the way that we would like to share with the entire world. So, so, 
So who's going to be the next grand prize winner? Everybody, let's go. Let's, let's make those faces and enter. あそうそう。先日、前回のグランプリの、えー、受賞者のイスクラさんという方にもね、えー、単独でね、インタビューをね、させていただきました。ちょうどね、あのー、ギャラリーのね、えー、キュッちゃんっていう子がね、あのー、今、ちょうど編集をしているところなんですけども、そのうち YouTube にもね、えー、掲載の予定でございます。えー、今、えー受賞えー、次に、ね、受賞される方、どんな方になるか分かりませんけども、えー、この世界コンテスト、日本にも、えー、世界中にもね、えー、たくさんもう素敵なものを作るビーダーさんいらっしゃると思いますので、ぜひご出品をよろしくお願いいたします。And by the way,、um, we were able to have an exclusive. Well, I was able to have a one on one interview with the previous winner, the 2020 winner, Iskra Stoikovska from, from Northern Macedonia. And we are now in the process of、um, making the video, which will be available soon on YouTube. So please look out for that. And of course,、um, we hope that many people. Um, from around the world, many artists from around the world will be interested and will be excited about、um, joining the Beats Biennale. And we look forward to your many, many entries. Like Rodney, it's a very good thing. 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 えー、今日ね、見ていただいて、皆さん、本当にご視聴ありがとうございます。Thank you for all for watching today.Thank you.Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us.Happy beating.We love Toho beans.We love Toho beans.Thank you very much, everyone.We love Toho beans.Thank you for joining us.Thanks, everyone.